The need is now and it is urgent. Those are the words of an Oregon State Senator on the tsunami debris cleanup. It's a real wake-up call. It came last week when a 60-foot dock from Japan washed ashore near Newport at Agate Beach. Well, today, local, state, and federal officials met to discuss their plans to address the growing problem. And Coin Local 6 reporter Sally Showman spent the day there at the meeting and along the Oregon coast. Tracking tsunami debris out in the ocean is nearly impossible because it's so spread out. But the debris that's washing on shore is being tracked closely. In fact, city officials here in Cannon Beach say it's doubled in recent months. Yeah, it just comes back every day. Every tide change, you've got more. Started out as bottles. Here's a bottle. This one doesn't have Japanese right in the lid, but a lot of them do. A little styrofoam, and now a lot of styrofoam. Mark Mead's become the resident garbage man on Gearhart's Delray Beach. And these are small chunks. A garbage man without anywhere to put bag upon bag of what he believes to be tsunami debris. It's obvious nothing's being done. You can see it. Do you see any dumpsters to put stuff in? See any bags handed out? I almost asked in the meeting today if any of them had actually walked out on the beach. Welcome, everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started. Mead lugged a huge bag of debris to the meeting and watched on as local, state, and federal officials met for a work session on tsunami debris cleanup this morning. The problem is now and it's immediate. I hope it's not a disaster, but you're right, we don't know what's coming. They talked about what's being done right now and what needs to be done, and most importantly, raised important questions about who's going to pay for it all. We got to have money for bags, money for gloves, trucks for pickup, dumpsters to put it in. And that doesn't even begin to speak of the underwater problems. We also need to shift the financial burden away as much as possible from already strained municipal and county budgets. For an hour and a half, officials heard concerns ranging from garbage haulers worried about possible inundation with trash to invasive species and safety concerns. They brainstormed ideas, but no decisions were made, no financial source identified. Back at the beach, Meade ran into state parks representatives. Here you go. So I don't have room in my garbage can. It's yours. Artifacts of one of the greatest natural disasters of our time, but to Mead, it's all the same thing. Garbage. NOAA estimates the heavier debris will start washing ashore in 2013. Meantime, the lighter stuff like the styrofoam and bottles are clearly traveling faster. Reporting for you at Cannon Beach, Sally Showman, Coin Local 6.